In this video, I'm going to come and take the same shot at sunrise, at midday, and at sunset. Uh, haven't we done this before? Yeah, but now we're doing it again. Okay, fair enough. Oh, we ready? Let's do this. So if you've been watching my videos for a little while, you know I've, I've pretty much done this before. Uh, down in Albany, not too long ago, uh, I made a video where I went and shot a, a jetty at sunrise, at midday and sunset. Uh, so I've come to this spot, um, which is not too far from home, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna do the same thing. I thought it was a decent idea. When I did it last time down in Albany, um, the day that I chose to do it, or the day that I happened to it, wasn't didn't really turn out too great. There's a bit of rain around and there wasn't actually too much difference between, between the shots. We didn't get some nice light. So uh, in this video, I'm not gonna try and do it all in the same day. I'm at, out here this morning and then I'll pick another time uh, when, uh, when the weather's looking okay and there's uh, something happening to, to, to come back and take the next shots. Right, so here comes the uh, here comes the sun. You can see it just starting to illuminate the top of the building here. Still can't quite see the sun yet over this way, but you can tell it's coming. As authentic as this paint tin is here hanging on the fence, I think I might get rid of it. There we go. So as far as this shot for the morning, I think I've got the one that I want. Uh, just taking it literally a second ago, pretty much the sun is just illuminating that top half of the building here, so uh, yeah, I think, I think it looks pretty nice. It would be good if there was a little bit of something happening up in the sky behind it, a cloud or two. Would that be too much to ask? Yeah, apparently that's too much to ask, but uh, I think it'll work out anyway. that'll do me for now. I've got the shot I came for. Uh, yeah, I'll be back again soon. All right, I'm back again. It's another day. Uh, so I've come back, it's a couple of days later, and what I want to do now is uh, just get a shot that's really going to contrast the one that I took this morning, or earlier, the other morning, the one you will have just seen. So um, I've come back, there's plenty of blue sky around, plenty of harsh, harsh sunlight. Uh, normally I wouldn't sort of be out taking photos in conditions like this, but for the purposes of this exercise, I think it's... Um, yeah, the perfect example just to illustrate how different subjects can behave or look uh, with, with some different light on them. So uh, yeah, it's, uh, I think it's just before midday and I want to get this shot just as the sunlight is hitting, uh, hitting this side of the building here. So before it sort of dips back and the whole thing falls into shadow. So that's what I'm doing, that's what I'm here for. Let's get moving.
I don't think I said exactly why I keep coming back to this spot to take this photo. Uh, this used to be a power station, closed down in the mid 80s. And since then it's pretty much just sat here in this condition, sort of slowly, slowly crumbling away, I guess. Uh, the, the housing developments are creeping closer and closer, but you know, this thing just sort of sits here defiantly. Uh, one day I'm sure they'll knock it down or do something with it. Uh, but until then, I like to come back here from time to time and take pretty much this exact photo that I'm taking now. All right, I've got what I came for, I've got the shot. Uh, I will be back in a day, a week, we'll see. Uh, for you though, it'll be a couple of seconds. Alright, here we go, I'm back again for the third and final time. Uh, it's been about a week and a half, I guess, since I was here last, and I've been keeping my eye on forecast and on the sky uh, during that time. I think tonight's gonna turn out to be pretty good. There's a lot of cloud, cloud around, but I think it's all, all high cloud. There's a gap on the horizon, so uh, yeah. I think this is gonna turn out pretty nicely. <laughs> So I was sitting at home yesterday evening uh, in the back garden looking up at the sky and I was just kicking myself because uh, the sky was, was pretty nice last night. It was lighting up pretty nice. Uh, but I reckon tonight's going to be even better. This is nice, this turned out very, very nicely. If I was gonna complain, which I'm not going to, but if I was gonna complain, this is nice up here. But this, this is even nicer. So if this, if this sky had have been about here, that would have been in my shot and that just would have been, ooh, that would have been really nice. But I'm not complaining. You know, you, uh, you hear so much about why you should be out at particular times of day to take advantage of particular types of light. And, you know, sooner or later, you can just sort of start to take it as fact that there's a right and a wrong way to do things. But of course, as you know, with photography, there's no hard and fast rules. So yeah, really the, the, uh, the purpose of, of this exercise was just to, just to see, just to explore how this particular scene looked at different times of day. Does, uh, does one photo look, look better than the others? Maybe be interested to know what you thought so hit me up in the comments down below let me know which photo you preferred let me know uh, any other thoughts you had on this little exercise and that's going to do it thank you for watching feel free to subscribe if you haven't already throw me a like if you're so inclined and uh yeah till next time i'll see you later cheers Are we done? We're done. You reckon anyone's still watching? Nah, surely not. Who'd stick around to watch this? Yeah, I know, right? Let's get out of here. Oh, are we done? Oi, wait up. <laughs>